Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Look at that! Oh, Look at them! There's, don't scream at them! There's three, there's two, and then there's one way. Isn't that awesome? And look, they're not scared at all. Oh, there's one in the trees, too. So we have made it to the yurt, and you guys, this is amazing. It's gonna be a great couple of days. The weather is perfect today. It's not hot, it's not too cold. It is perfect. And the drive, it was like an hour from Little Rock. We're staying at DeGray Lake Resort, I think it is. They've got campsites and a lodge and all of that. And we have the, the yurt that's the furthest back, and it's very, very nice. It's the perfect location. Somebody already has like a little fire pit that they started. We've got wood and all of that. So before we move all of our stuff in, our luggage and all of our food and supplies, I did want to share with you what it looked like outside and inside. So the other yurts are over there, and this is where we are staying here. So this is our yurt for the next couple of days. You can see Kate up there. Wave, Kate! So that is our yurt up there, and down here is really, really nice. So I'm gonna take you and share with you. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna share the yurt with you first, and then we'll go down there and look at the water. So this is our yurt for the next couple of days, and it's got a deck on it with steps, and that's where Derek and Logan were. And then down here is where our vehicles are. So they have spots for our vehicles. So it just looks so nice. There's a little fire pit right there too that we can use. And then over here on this side, they have a picnic table. So this is where we will eat our lunch and dinner and breakfast. Breakfast will probably actually sit down by the water to be honest. So we've got two little grills and then this is the view outside. Let's go around. We're seeing this for the first time together. So, I mean, just look at that. That just looks amazing. I can't wait to have my coffee out here in the morning. So, this just looks, I mean, so great. Then there's a padlock on the yurt. So, you've got to plug it in. Okay. And then this is the inside. So it's a lot bigger than it actually appears on this camera. So there's enough room for seven of us in here. There's a fan. There's a luggage rack. They've got chairs over there. And there's basically six bunk beds. Or would you say, I guess three. Three bunk beds. And so this one is where my sister and my nephew will sleep. They're going to sleep together in one and then I'm gonna sleep on the bottom bunk because I'm clumsy and I don't want to, yeah, fall off the bed. Then there's a table and I guess they left a cooler in here for us and some brooms and things. So this is the inside of the yurt. Okay, we're gonna go down and take a look at the lake now. That is amazing. And then this is the view that we're gonna get to see in the morning. Isn't this so wonderful? I mean, listen to the water. I don't know if you can hear it. So peaceful. So this is like the perfect location. I hope this weather stays like this too. This is really nice. So it's a little bit later, it's about 5.30 and we have everything kind of settled in as much as it's going to be for the time being. So I thought I would share with you what, <laughs> what it looks like now, which is totally different and pretty packed. So this is our little paper section here. So we're gonna use the tubs as little tables around the yurt. Um, Nathan is sleeping on the top, then my brother-in-law sleeping there. My sister and my nephew Kate is up there, Derek is up there, and then I am over here. So that is how all of that looks. That's the bed situation. And then I'll step over there and share with you what that looks like on the other side. 
and it's starting to get cool because the sun is starting to go down so we've got snacks and stuff over there we've got food up there we've got food everywhere you guys <laughs> We really do. So that is what the inside looks like. And we're just outside enjoying, just talking and hanging out. And we finally are starting to get a campfire. I guess I need to get some more of the twigs. We can't get it started and continuously going. So now I just threw the twigs on there and it did work. And now it is dying down again. So let's go get some more of that. It worked for a minute and then it died down. Now it's working again. Okay, so maybe I need to continuously put these on here and it will finally catch the wood on fire. So, yay. Oh, it looks like it's spreading. Yay, we finally have a campfire after 30 minutes. And we are now starting supper. We've got our baked potatoes and corn here and then we're gonna make ribeye kebabs on the grill. And it's about seven o'clock and the sun is starting to go down and it's getting really cool. So that's the thing about spring is it will be so hot during the day and then it gets so cold at nighttime. So I can tell you when the sun goes down, we're probably gonna have to go in the yurt because y'all know I stay cold. So we've got our supper started. We have got the corn and the baked potatoes on the fire and then um, they're gonna make ribeye kebabs i have no i think it's like peppers and all that i'll share what it looks like because y'all know i'm i'm usually the cleaning person and the laundry person and all of that and the organizing person i'm not the cooking person i am not a good cook so i'll leave that up to my brother-in-law and my sister because they're the ones that take care of all of that to rock again. o'clock it is so peaceful out here i slept pretty good i had to pee about four times last night there's not a bathroom around here so yes i had to go outside and pee so i guess you'd call that roughing it if you had to go outside and pee and there's not a bathroom so but um it is nine like i just said i'm cold I'm fixing to go sit by the fire which i did sleep pretty good but um had to have four blankets. Y'all know I freeze all the time. I blame it on my thyroid. So I'm going to get our coffee going in just a second. I purchased a travel coffee maker because with all the cheer trips and things that Kate goes on, I thought it was a good investment because sometimes you go places and they don't have a coffee maker. So I'm gonna share that with you in a minute. Okay, this feels really nice. I'm cold. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A blister that never gone away. Yes, it will. It's a scar, Daddy. You know, it's a scar. There's not a blister there anymore. You're, you're, you're an athlete. Be tough. Okay, I think I've got it set. It is the Black & Decker Brew & Go. I know you can't see it. The lighting is kind of... There we go. Brew & Go. Travel cups. We're using our water that we brought to fill the coffee pot. And I didn't have a scoop. So we cut a solo cup. This is going to be the coffee scoop. So here we go. Let's see if it works. I'm not going to believe it until there's coffee. There we go. It's going. 
So it's about 11.15 and I have myself this little recliner thing I've made here out of two chairs and I'm sitting by the fire. The kids are fishing, I wanna say, or down by the water. And I'm just relaxing by the fireplace and enjoying the fact that I don't have anything that needs to be done today. So this might be my permanent spot for the day and I might just be in my pajamas all day because there's really no reason for me to change clothes because I'm really not going anywhere. And here is my little setup right now. Just enjoying the sunshine. My face is probably gonna get burnt. Honestly, it probably is. I don't know if I even have any sunscreen. I don't think I do. Okay, good. My sister has some. Kate is fishing. That's what you're supposed to do. And then Derek. I'm a diva diver. He says he's a diva diver. Okay, my female is fishing and my son is telling me that he's a diva diver. Okay. Well, that's where we are. Okay, I had to share this. This was very interesting to me. This tree is right by the water. And there's several trees that are like this, but this one is a whole lot worse than the others. Look, all of the roots are above ground because of the erosion in this area, but the tree is still living and it's beautiful. Look at it. And all of the roots are above ground. And it's about four o'clock. We just play, got finished playing categories and most everybody is down there by the lake about to fish again. I'm sitting up here with Derek. I'm fixing it to sit by the campfire and just kind of relax, maybe watch some YouTube videos. Derek has played his little heart out. He is actually sound asleep up there on his cot. So he has played hard today. So we're just trying to wind it down today. I had a big breakfast this morning, or I guess you would say brunch. And we're gonna have hamburgers and hot dogs today for dinner. And I'm excited because I actually get to eat a bun. We went to Trader Joe's. They have one of those in Little Rock. And I got, I'm gonna share it with you. And I got some gluten-free buns. Normally when I have hamburgers, I have to just eat a hamburger with no bun because it's been harder and harder to find those. But I'm excited. So it's been harder and harder to find buns that are gluten-free. The stores around me just don't have them, but Trader Joe's had them. And they look really good, like they actually look like buns. If you get stuff that, usually stuff like this is frozen when it's gluten-free and it's just not that fresh. It just tastes kind of like cardboard. So these are from Trader Joe's. So I'm excited I'm gonna be able to eat a hamburger with a bun that looks like it's soft and it's actually going to taste good. It is about 5.30, I think now, and the girls just went and took baths and came back. And y'all, I'm not washing my hair. I'll wash my hair when I get to my sister's tomorrow. I don't have to wash mine every single day because my hair, I've got dry skin, so it's not oily to where it's gonna have a smell or anything. So I will wash it when I get to my sister's tomorrow. But they do have a bathhouse and it's really nice. It's got three showers and in the showers, it's got like a little entry area to the shower. Then it's got three bathrooms, or I guess stalls, bathroom stalls. It smells good. It looks like they keep it up and make sure that it's cleaned and stocked with toilet paper. And I mean, it's really nice. So I'm very thankful for that. So we just got back from taking showers. And y'all, I've went from one pair of pajamas to the next. I didn't even get clothes on today. What you saw me in earlier is what I've been in today because we're not going anywhere. We're just hanging out and it is sunny. I don't think I put some sunscreen on my face. I'm hoping I didn't get burnt. Kate got burnt even though we were applying sunscreen to her face. So I had a hoodie on all day because y'all know how my skin gets. So we are fixing to eat supper hamburgers and hot dogs and chips and there's y'all we've got so many snacks it's not even funny we said that whatever we don't eat we're going to keep in the tub and take it for the beach so we are going to get settled in eat and get some things packed up because in the morning we have to get checked out at 11 and we want to have most of it done so down the road like as we're leaving there is a cracker barrel so i think that's where we're going to have brunch in the morning 
So I hope I've gotten enough footage for you guys of this experience, my first ever camping experience, and my first ever camping experience in a yurt. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And if I have enough questions, I'll do a Q&A video. So that's gonna be the common question. Do you have any questions about this experience? Leave those in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity also I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time bye you guys